Hello hijacking community. My name is Michael and today is a fantastic day. Today we release the new version of Blickshift Analytics. And there are two major highlights in this new release which I want to show you in this video. On the screen you can see our brand new dynamic AOI editor. And this editor will accelerate your AOI annotation process a lot. In this example, a participant crafted a paper plane. So on the left side, we can see the instructions and on the right side, we can see the paper with which the participant crafted the paper plane. This dynamic AOI on the left side, the orange AOI, has been defined with the dynamic AOI editor beforehand. And now I want to show you how we can annotate the paper with which the participant crafted the paper plane. Because I'm interested in seeing or in analyzing the transitions between the instruction manual and the paper. So I go to the beginning of the experiment and here from the top right I can choose several tools for the annotation and I go here with the blue rectangle tool. I choose it and then I annotate here the AOI with the paper and I enter here paper as an identifier. So I go now into the experiment and after a while, because the shape of this paper changes a lot during the experiment, but that's no problem for our dynamic AOI editor. I cover now here or I readjust the dynamic area of interest. I change here the set index and then I say right click preceding range object tracking. And this object tracking is using now artificial intelligence algorithms to detect this dynamic AOI through the video for me. And this speeds up my annotation process a lot. So let's have a look at the result. This was now in real time. So I go now through the experiment and I can see how it nicely, ah, here I have to readjust a bit. So the component is working again. And now it looks amazing. And now I go further into the experiment. You can see now the hands here, which are also can be seen in the dynamic area of interest. I make a right click, say preceding range object tracking. So let's go here now backwards. Ah, oh, it's looking good. And now forward again until here. And by doing this now several times, creating these keyframes here, which you can see also for the orange, for the instructions area of interest. I will annotate now the video here for the later analysis. If you want to learn more about this component, so all the features and some examples, some more examples, please have a look at this video. And I will do now my annotation. Here comes now an interesting point, because at this point, I do not want to cover the paper on the right side anymore because it's really been covered by the arms here of the participant and he really looks or, or reads the instructions and I want to continue from here. So I just move the area of interest over to here and then I go further into the experiment and you can see it really changes a lot here. Preceding range object tracking. So again, real time. And what I want to do now next is to remove the area of interest here in this range. So I go to here and I say succeeding range, no interpolation. And now here in this time section, the area of interest will not be tracked. So, and I will do now the annotation. So, annotation is finished. Let's have a look at the result. 
I go back to the beginning of the experiment and we are interested in transitions between instructions and paper. So between here the orange AOI and the um, paper AOI. So let's go now through the experiment. Left hand, right hand, crafting the paper, reading the instructions. Yeah, looks very good. Next step is doing now case statistics. And this is the second highlight of this new release, our brand new gaze statistics component. I go to the dynamic AOI editor, I make a right click, I say analyses, and then I choose gaze statistics. And here we can see the gaze statistics for the areas of interest instructions, none, so where no dynamic AOI has been defined, and the dynamic AOI paper. I remove here not available, so I move it here to uh, the ignored column and then I choose here the output format and we can see that 45% of the attention um, was on the AOI paper and only 40% on the AOI instructions and 40% somewhere else, so where I have not defined a dynamic area of interest. And there are now many more metrics here in this component. So not only the total gaze duration and the normalized gaze duration, we also have some average metrics, minimum, maximum, gaze count, time to first fixation, and here the um, transition rates, fixation counts, and different other metrics describing the eye movement behavior of this participant. Besides the dynamic AOI editor and the gaze statistics node, there are many more new smaller improvements in our software, but improvements which will help you a lot during your daily work. If you want to learn more about this new release, please click on the get your trial link in the description. And if you are already a user of Blickshift Analytics, you already got an email with all the information about how to download and how to install this new release. So today is a fantastic day for the eye tracking community. If you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe to our channel and activate the bell so that you'll never miss a new video on this channel. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.